so that became a focus of the institution to really understand where we could do better and where the problematic points were. And our digital collections were flagged as one of those primary challenges because, as Felicity mentioned, we had just looking at the student newspaper collection alone, over 2,200 compound PDF objects um, that had not taken accessibility into account. So to try and work backwards through all of those files and increase their accessibility, while also understanding that there were certain aspects of the website itself that were problematic, um, became several stumbling points. And so, um, Later in 2017, the library undertook a software audit and we got a sense of where vendors were in terms of wanting to work with us on web accessibility. Um, and unfortunately, the some of the companies that we were working with, it was not a priority for them. Um, and we realized that we needed to, to perhaps seek out other options. Um, and so um, AM Cortex was something that you know, presented itself to us as a as a potential piece of software. We had a great demo and a great rapport with uh, with the team, and it was really appealing that there was that willingness to talk about web accessibility. That it was something that was not only built into our agreement, um, but that you know part of this new culture of accessibility was um, a study of the current web accessibility and general accessibility of a new piece of software that was coming onto campus. And when that study had been done of Cortex, everybody was very willing to come to the table and talk about the findings and, and plot out um, how we could work towards some of those improvements. So that was very appealing to us.